what is up you guys it's your favorite to red reader and i am back except for i am not back with another read i'm back with another motherfucking i just woke up and i want to talk some shit okay okay i'm naked as a bitch so i'm trying to figure out a way to like smoke this blunt and not be like exposing myself to the world or whatever but y'all i really need to like um figure out how to like edit videos and start doing vlogs and stuff because i definitely want to do day in the light day in the life of a light worker or earth angel 33 thank you infinite masters or something like that i just saw 33 so it's definitely coming into fruition but i really think y'all enjoy these little like just smoke with me and talk about some shit type of videos so i figured why the fuck not i'm not doing shit and yeah so i got some shit i want to talk about so, I said I was going to talk about, like, this whole twin flame shit and, like, how a lot of people won't discuss the fact that false twin flames or not even false twin flames, just kind of, like, thinking you have a twin flame and then it turning out to not be a twin flame and shit like that. Like, people don't really tend to talk about that, but what I wanted to talk about today was the fact that, <sighs> then I just fucking forgot, the fact that sometimes things happen in our life to kind of, like, Show us how to be better for our future husband. Like, if you're manifesting your twin flame or a husband in general, like a soulmate, whatever the case, because everybody does not have a twin flame, you know, whatever it is. So, if you're manifesting that for yourself, I kind of feel like if you're not seeing results, like if you're not getting what you want, what you want, or you keep dating multiple men, I kind of feel like it's because God is preparing you to even be a wife. Like, bitch, do you even know? If you capable of being a wife while you manifesting that shit. So, let me just tell y'all about some lessons that I've learned over the last two days. So, the first day, I had got into it with who I believe to be my twin flame. Um, because I felt like I just wanted more. And as a woman, I feel like it's very okay for us to set boundaries and let a man know that, you know, this is what I want. I want marriage. And if you can't give that to me, maybe it's best that we set boundaries as far as what we're doing. So, that was a conversation that was had. Um, and after we got into it, like, after he left and shit, it was kind of just, like, I was thinking to myself, like, damn, like, you losing out on a friend because you're trying to control when somebody chooses to be with you or when somebody chooses to commit to you or anything like that. But I kept getting, like, messages on all the tv shows that i was watching all the like videos and shit that i was watching that patience is key and that how you get something is how you lose it and to me i'm just like damn like you know i really don't want to rush this i really want to take things slow and see if this could really be something for real in the last three relationships i've been in or just like dating or situationships i'm honest whatever they was it was kind of just like i kept getting the same results of men not wanting to commit or if we were in a committed relationship, it wasn't what I wanted. Um, like, I wasn't being treated how I wanted to be treated. So for me, 3 3 thick and masters. So for me, it was kind of just like, maybe let's do this shit differently. Like, maybe let's do this shit differently. So I prayed on it and I asked God, like, what, what is needed to be healed? Like, what is needed to be healed for me? And I heard, like, childhood issues because... What a lot of people don't tend to realize is that how we were brought up, how we were raised, how our parents loved each other, how they loved us, how we saw them being loved and all that kind of stuff. Like, it definitely plays a huge ass role. I'm sorry, y'all probably look all kinds of a mess. I just literally woke up, got Kamaya on a daycare van, haven't brushed my teeth, washed my face, none of that. But this is kind of like when I'm most authentic, I'm most pure and shit. But anyway, so... I was realizing the next day that I just had some shit to work through. I woke up in a super fucking good mood. I had got some good ass sleep the night before and then I fucking got into it with my mom. I was yelling and I was screaming and I had noticed myself being brought back to a place that I told myself I didn't want to be again. And I definitely have anger issues. Um, that's something that I'm working on. Um, I have DID um dissociative identity disorder um like 
switching personalities or whatever but for me i look at it on a conscious level um i will be making videos about my did but from a spiritual aspect so i don't have multiple personalities i have multiple spirit guides who have chosen to step up during certain times in my life that were traumatic for me that i couldn't handle or that i was not able to process okay period off of that i had told myself like I didn't want to allow that spirit to come out. I didn't want to allow the mean Caprice, whatever her name is. I don't know. I haven't really figured out all of that shit yet. Like, I'm just now learning about myself and being able to communicate with them through, like, my journal. But whoever the mean-ass girl is, I feel like she holds so much trauma that whenever she's triggered by something that was traumatic for her, um, she lashes out and hurt people hurt people. So, for me... I feel like when I was a kid, I dealt with trauma while my mom wasn't around. So it was kind of like I blamed her. I blamed her for not being around. And yesterday, I was triggered by her not doing something that I had needed her to do. And it was something so small. It was the fact that my clothes weren't dry after I took them over her house to be washed. And I was at work, so I needed them to, like, put them in a dryer and shit. And that's something so simple. I could have not gotten mad about that. I had even gotten a premonition the day before that my clothes weren't going to be dry. So, I felt like that was a warning. Are you going to pass the test? Are you going to pass the test? Now, I do feel like I failed the test. Like, I do feel like, <laughs> you know, I was triggered by my mom not doing something for me, not being there for me. Um, and it triggered me to go into like fight or flight mode and I chose to fight. I chose to be irritated. I chose to let go of emotions that have probably been bottled up that I had forgot was bothering me. Because it's kind of like when you have so many other things to deal with. 55, thank you for sending masters. Tower moment change. That's what happened yesterday. Um, when you're dealing with so many things like earthly things and shit like that, you tend to kind of push back some of the emotions and feelings and, you know, things that hurt you, things that haunt you, things that bother you. Um, 777, seven, seven, thank you, Cinema Masters. It's kind of like some things are just kind of like not as important. And a lot of people put their feelings as one of those things like that's not that fucking important. Whole time we need our feelings to like go about our day to day life. Okay. So. Just as important as happiness is, everybody wants to be so happy, we also need to be aware of the fact that we are humans right now. Like, if we reincarnated, if we came back here as humans, we have human emotions for a reason, to work through them to a sin. So, I'm like, damn, like, I really felt this test. But then God told me, like, release shame, release guilt, release trauma. So, I'm like, oh, so... I needed to experience, you know, what I experienced being taken back to a level that I never wanted to be taken to a abundance. I needed to be triggered by that to realize that that's why me and my, who I believe to be my twin flame, got into an argument because I was trying to control the issue. I was trying to make him be there for me because I'm tired of people not being there. And I feel like that was God just triggering me as a way to show me, like, when you're ready for marriage, you have to not be so triggered it's kind of like you have to work through that shit now so that when it is time for you to be a wife and it is time for you to give love and be loved you need to know how to deal with your emotions how to cope with your emotions in a way that is healthy so after that like after i got into it with her i sat in my car for like 20 minutes and i just cried and i talked to myself and i talked to god and i talked to the whole family up there and i was kind of just like y'all you know, like, I really hate that I did this. I'm tired of being hurt on myself. God told me to release trauma, and I felt like I really got a lot of stuff off my chest. I'm one of those people who, when I'm upset, I can't be around people because I'll say really, really mean things. And even though I mean the things that I say, it's not always appropriate to say some things. And I also feel like I triggered my mom. Like, Angela Guidance 333, if y'all watch her, um, 93, thank you, Cinema Masters. 22, thank you, Cinema Masters had been telling me that um, in my readings that I would be getting into a mom and I would be healing childhood issues. And at this point, I'm like, damn, I told my mom a lot of things about me that she didn't know. I asked her to be here for me. I told her I was stressed out. I told her that I needed her help and her guidance. As an adult, as a grown woman, as, a, as my mother, shit. And I felt like even if she wasn't receptive to the information at the time, I do feel like this is going to rebuild our relationship. I do feel like being open and honest 
in a way that even if it was an explosion, things have to sometimes be destroyed to be rebuilt. A new foundation has to be built from destruction. That just sometimes how it works, and that's what a tower moment is, and that's what that was for us. So the more and more lessons that I learn, I do feel like I'm becoming ten ten the gifts and the masters. Um, ending generational curses and behaviors that no longer serve my family. Um, I'm ending cycles of single mothers in my family. I'm literally getting married. I am, I'm just, I'm changing a lot and I'm forcing my family to do the same because I'm taking them with me. And even if God makes it, makes us argue or make us get into it or not speak for a while, whatever it is, I know that it was divinely guided to happen. Like I know that I don't have to be hard on myself about some shit because I probably never would have realized that the reason why I was snapping on my twin flame was because I was mad at my mom for not being there, creating this cycle of me accepting men and people who weren't going to really be there for me. And then I just, because I want him so bad, because I've gotten dreams about my twin flame, I kind of feel like this is something that I'm not letting go. So you need to make me your girlfriend. Like it was kind of just like, I was so attached, which is also another problem that I'm working on. I have attachment issues, and you shouldn't be attached to anything in this earthly realm. Like 1122, thank you, Ascended Masters, not even your children. You should have no attachments because attachments create disappointments, and that's not what you want. So I have attachment issues where, like, if I love you, I love you. like, And I love everybody. Like, I love every soul. But if I've gotten to the point where... I know your soul, like I've met your soul outside of your physical body, like maybe I've went to your dreams or I've connected with you in the spiritual realm or something like that. If that happens, I'm connected to you and I feel like, like we just connected. Like I don't know how to like let people go until I'm like fed up and I feel like now I've gotten to the point where I'm ready to kind of release everything to the universe and allow it to come back to me tenfold. So the stage that I'm in now is kind of acceptance. I I was like, I don't want to talk to my twin flame no more because he don't want to be with me right now. Like, fuck him. Like, I hate him. He's so, I never said I hate him, but I'm like, he's so stupid. And one thing that I want to tell y'all is to not doubt the journey. Like, if this happens to not be your twin flame when you think they're your twin flame, 333, think you're sending masters, oh well. Maybe they was a fucking soulmate, but at the end of the day, you have to con Con consistently and continuously be consistent with what you are manifesting, what you're telling the universe that you want, and you're allowed to be very fucking specific. If you're telling yourself, oh, I don't want him, and fuck him, he's stupid, the universe is gonna be like, okay, we're gonna show you exactly why the fuck you don't want him. But if you're constantly telling the universe, I'm I'm willing to work on this, God, please heal me and my husband, God, please heal him, please let this come together if it's meant to be, I feel like one thing that I really want to tell y'all is when y'all are praying, when y'all are setting y'all intentions for y'all twin flame or for life goals, money, abundance, yeah, how you parent, you know, shit like that. Be very, very, very specific and also give a reason. For me, I'd be like, God, please let my daughter be well-mannered because I want her to love this world and I want this world to love her back. Like, I want her to be successful and abundant. God... Please help me be a better mother. Why, God? It's because I know that my daughter has a purpose. I know that she's meant to do big things, so I need to raise her the right way So, in order for her to walk in her mission. You know, like, God, please bring me a husband. Why? So that I can break generational curses and show my daughter that this love is possible. And, you know, we can get back that old school love, that twin flame love, that loving each other and breaking generational curses and bringing crystal children in. Like, when I say my prayers and when I set my intentions, I make sure that I'm telling the universe exactly why the fuck I'm praying for what I'm praying for. That way it's easier for her to be like, okay, I see that you're going to actually work for this when I give it to you. So here, let me go ahead and give it to you. I don't know. I done got a little bit high now. And I'm